Hello everybody. It's me, Halisa. I want to make a new video. Before I do that, fix my hair. I'm wearing the 90s choker. That's swoosh life. And I put water with sugar and either limeade with lime or lemon and made lemonade. I'm dehydrated. I'm not in a beauty competition with anything else. I know I'm much more beautiful. No matter how many husbands I have, a good looking husband, how many kids, how much house or money, I know that I have it all better. I'm just kidding. But this is my hair journey. I'm all different ages here, so I might go into backward order. But I'm going to show photos of my hair journey. Damaged, non-damaged. I had black hair. I have similar videos what color look best. I had black hair, brown hair, brown with highlights, blonde hair, purple hair, red hair, pink hair, blue hair. You'd be very surprised. And I had straight wavy and somehow it just turned curly over time. But I'll show you that toward the end of the video. Um, I was 16 here. This is my naturally curly. Uh, I don't know what color this natural is. I'd say like a... I'm not posting anything below. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. I say it's like a dirty blonde, but I'm not sure. This is when I was 16 in botanical, the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens. I had blonde hair at 17 at the Circle Line Cruise. So, uh, I remember, this is my friend Kate, but I remember this hairstyle with the colors. I even made a video I still have those accessories till this very day. And here it is for proof. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. Braids go back. And this is what I'm showing in that picture. But it reminds me of Dizzy from Descendants 2. And I can't wait for Descendants 3 to come out. As you all know, I love the Disney Channel. Oh, the May Connolly song, Digital Love is on. Yeah, so... I guess I'm done for now, and everyone definitely saw my new sleeping mask from Claire's. Look at my previous videos of mine if you want to see all about the 90s shiny stuff. Like I said, I feel very masculine at times, and I can find a color match to put the donut on, so... I used to wear my hair in a wide braid. I made it myself. This girl in third grade, Rebecca Sade, had it, so I had to have it too. But this is the one I was showing you with the colorful, like Dizzy from, or Dizzy from Descendants 2. We threw that clock out the window. This is when I broke my teeth and my nose. I guess I had brown hair, straight hair. Um, anything else? Ah, Johnny Rockets drinking a soda. Um, I'm very versatile. I was in the acting industry. Blood made out of water. I had blonde curly hair. This is me and my dad. This was back in 2009. I wanted her to look like a Barbie. Then. And this is me drinking my martini in December of 2009. And, um... Here's when I met Rob Thomas from Matchbox 20, if anybody is freaking interested. We're going to have a good shot. This one's not easy to see. Moving on. My Philadelphia trip on an unrelated note. And my mother at the Liberty Bell. This is me looking horrible. 
an independence building hall, whatever. So, um, I think I should go on to this book next. You might have seen some of these pictures before. In 2004, behind the spinning Jenny in Pennsylvania, I had, like, the brown hair with the blonde highlights. And I was heavier. And when I had my child, I had the brown hair with the blonde highlights. I look like mom's twin here. And I even have a picture to prove it. Oh, I make a beautiful mama. I love that neon green nail polish I am wearing. Here's my mom and I look like twins. I always like, she loves those highlights. It was all the way back in 2004. With Cousin Marcy with us, I believe. Me and some Amish man. That's right. Um, so here's a, a close-up of what I looked like. And my hair was a lot straighter then. Here my mom and I look like twins. And here even more so. And this, these other two. Bing! Doesn't that look like the Quaker Oat Woman in the middle? That's Mrs. Welcher, my chemistry teacher. Uh, I guess this book is done for now. And you seen me as a brunette. You seen me with blonde hair. You seen me with red hair. You see me with brown with blonde highlights. I don't have the photos up of the purple that faded out in February or the blue, but um, I had black hair. And just after I gave birth in the last seven, eight years, my hair started really waving and then curling up. They were still building the Freedom Tower here. But this is a hair journey video, so... Oh, it's just so breathtaking. Here, I actually added a few highlights on the Staten Island Ferry when I ate a Dairy Queen. They had delicious ice cream and cheeseburgers. Before I came a vegetarian. Yeah, I think I really looked good with the dark hair. I was going the goth gunmetal look. Breathtaking views. That sexy lip bite. Yeah, it was a favorite, so it started getting brassy and turning into a like a weird brown crazy. But I'm gonna be back in a flash with a, a few more photos, and then I guess I wrap up. Everything's flying everywhere. Okie dokie. Uh, just hang in there. The bits are coming. The pics are coming. Just gotta get more books. I don't know how to edit in a special way right now. But, um, I have three more books. Well, I gotta put this one away right here, the red book. But everything is coming into perfect order of my hair journey. And I'm probably gonna go with the small the small books first. And then I'm gonna go with the big books. So just regardless, I'm gonna start showing pictures. This is when I just had brown hair in 2009. Pretty photo. Oh yeah, I got chickens. So here's back to being blonde again with the curl waves in November of 2009, even with that saucy sunset right here. Ooh, yeah, pretty photos. This was me on, well, wrong photo. I was a sexy clown or a village gunmetal guy. 
almost unrecognizable. And there's me with a knife. <laughs> yeah, as a blonde. Me and my ex-boyfriend, who I can't stand, and I pepper sprayed him. Philly cheesesteak. That's Philip there. I mean, he looks 40, and I look 19. And we both took that in autumn foliage, so. Or foliage. And a beautiful rainbow I caught in the sky. But yeah, I did rock the blonde for a long time. And look at those peace sign earrings. And fireworks. I have to get everything in. Even these silhouettes. Ooh. Now, I'm going to start rocking off. Of, and here's the real deep curls I have to straighten every day. So it's not just color. It's also texture changes. No perms. When I straighten it, I straighten it. This is a photo I caught off the BQE of the Skyline. And it's a must-show for the video. So this was me with the brown hair and the blonde highlights. And here's me with the um, strawberry blonde curly hair. And here's me with super dark brown wavy hair and bangs. Okay, two books, two more to go. This is the one I like with the blonde highlights. It was almost completely legal. Let me do this with folks. Legally blonde. Fan it out. Yeah, me, Elisa, did have. I did look like a Barbie in my day. I was 14. 15. I just turned 15. And then I had black hair and the psychedelic look in 2003. Now I know it was 17 years ago, but whatever. Can't believe 9 11 was almost 18 years ago. Here's the pretty forest. Don't remember? Why do I have pictures of the deck of independence? I used to love to wear these flowers and beads in my hair. And this was me and my best friend from high school. That was Danielle. This was my other best friend, Tehila, from high school. I looked gorgeous here with those glasses. I rocked four different pair. Yeah, I had them for a very long time. But um, last but not least, the next photo album. Is where I have very versatile looks. Here's the brown with the blonde highlights again. Look, Mom and I look like sisters. This is at a friend's wedding here. And she's infertile. She still can't have kids, but her sister got married and had a child and has another one on the way. I just know. She didn't tell me. Juice don't tell, but they got back-to-back -back kids. Is that a ghost in the photo? The psychic Sylvia Brown would say so. I doubt it. So here's the bangs, and I look stupid in them. This is the one that got married with the veil. You can't see her face, and the pretty flowers. And this is the sister that had the baby and got another one on the way. She don't look that pretty anymore. This ain't the bride. She acted like the bride. That's the maid of honor. Oh, yeah, that's the one with the kid. And yeah, I did look very sexy here. This was the bride. That's infertile. But skipping on. Oh, me and Gitzela. Do you ever see this? Ciao. All right, let's see if there's any hair changes in here. Still going with that blonde look. With the brown with the blonde highlights. It was probably my best look. It's all dun 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 dun. It changes. It does. Well, until I went completely blonde again. And then it got damaged. Oh, and here's my cat. 
And here's a photo from the four o'clock in Ontario, Canada. And I added on like a, if you really look close, a blondish red streak, which is a, extensions. I also rocked extensions. Um, I guess this is it for now. I do love this photo, and it's very pretty scenery. I just can't find any photos of, like, purple hair. And here's my role model. Nah, that's not my role model. That's my role model. And my son loves her. He even said her ghost came to him and grandma and grandpa. They told me to listen to my mother. They're telling my son listen to his grandma. So I don't have to listen to anybody, but I will. So this is one of my longest videos on the hair journey. So yes, black hair, brown hair, blonde hair, red hair, extension, straight, curly, wavy, everything in between. And I'm going to show off my new brush, my two new brushes, the Salon Professional Brush Part 1, and the Salon Pro Bust, not Bust, my son's obsessed with those accordion future, like the M42 buses, my new um, salon brushes, and this is my shower cap, I'm just excited because I haven't made videos in a while, and this is my new brush, but um, this is the one I'm going to use right now. You could, I gotta wash this again. So, I guess this is it for now. And uh, I pretty much rocked every shade of the rainbow except for green. I had some shades of oranges. Except for. I have a pinkish shade. Now I never say fully pink or fully green or. Hmm. Maybe, like, I had blonde, but not yellow. But I guess I did kind of rock every color of the rainbow one way or another, so. Toodles. Toyota. Toodaloo. Is there any other ways of saying goodbye?